What are the newest treatments for Hashimoto's in 2025? It's not gonna be what you think. We're gonna talk about GLPs, terzepatide, semaglutide. How are these actually helping with hypothyroidism and Hashimoto's? Well, first of all, first and foremost, they have to be used in the right dose. So how they are gonna help you, it's not gonna come in the form of using high doses. It's not gonna come in those doses that conventional medicine are handing out like candy to every single person that wants to lose weight. I've lovingly called terzepatide and semaglutide the Beverly Hills soccer mom drug of choice for weight loss because when they first came out, they were used by every celebrity out there to lose weight. But the problem is they were losing facial fat, they were getting manjaro face, and they were losing muscle at the same time. In order to help our thyroid, we wanna use these the right way in a microdose. And microdose for you might not be the same as the microdose for me. We have to figure that out together. But a microdose of GLPs is a small enough dose where you don't even realize that you're taking it. You have zero side effects. And here's what it's doing. Number one, it's reducing full body inflammation. Anytime we can reduce inflammation, your thyroid is going to work better. But the other thing, when we reduce inflammation, we reduce antibodies. So if you are suffering with Hashimoto's, the autoimmune form of hypothyroidism, a GLP can come in and reduce those antibodies as well, pushing you into remission. In addition, we are improving insulin resistance. Yes, even if you're using a microdose, you're not using those high, high doses. We are still seeing an improvement in insulin sensitivity. Now, when we are insulin resistant, that means that we are in an inflamed state. I always say the fastest way to age, keep your insulin high. Keep eating those carbohydrate and sugary foods. But the other issue is when you have a low and slow thyroid, you can be insulin resistant even when you're eating perfectly, even when you're removing the processed foods and the sugar. You can still be resistant to insulin signaling. And that is number one, going to cause you to gain weight because you're gonna be storing body fat and number two is gonna create inflammation in your body that's going to shut down your thyroid production and hinder that T4 to T3 conversion, the inactive thyroid hormone to the active thyroid hormone. Whenever we can reduce inflammation, improve insulin resistance, our thyroids are going to work better. Our bodies are gonna work better to convert T4 to T3. The other thing that GLPs do is they actually help improve the gut microbiome. So when used properly, we're actually seeing a reduction in inflammation in the gut, an improvement of the gut microbiome, improvement in leaky gut, healing that gut lining, and an improvement in irritable bowel syndrome or IBS. And then finally, when we are burning our body fat the right way, over time, I'm talking about improving our metabolism day after day. Whenever we reduce excess body fat, we are improving our health tenfold. Obesity is the leading cause of all diseases from Alzheimer's to cancer to heart disease. So when we're carrying around excess body fat, there's no way possible that our thyroid can work. Well, you're saying, well, wait a minute, I can't lose the weight. Right, we want to improve your thyroid function. We can use GLPs to do that, but we can also use GLPs in conjunction with the right thyroid treatment, in conjunction with optimizing your thyroid to actually help you lose weight overall the right way, the healthy way, slowly over time. So we're reducing inflammation, we're improving your gut, we're improving your insulin sensitivity, we're helping your thyroid actually work better. And what we have seen over time, and I'm one of them, is that thyroid patients can actually reduce their dose of thyroid medication. I personally have been on the same dose for about 17 years. And when I introduced a microdose of a GLP, specifically trisapatide, I noticed that I can back off by 25 to 50 micrograms of my 150 microgram dose of T3. So if we can reduce the amount of thyroid hormone that we're taking, not eliminate it because there's nothing wrong with it. It helps give us life. But if we can reduce the amount, it will tell us that your thyroid is working better and it helps your body work better overall. So microdosing of GLPs, the new 
treatment in 2025 for hypothyroidism and Hashimoto's.